Hello and welcome to Success Tips Global. It's March the 10th, 2023, and I have the pleasure of speaking with Mr. Gurun Kangsha, who is going to share something of his life and experience in Japan. Mr. Kangsha, welcome to Success Tips Global. Thank you very much. Thank you for the invitation. Now, let's begin with uh, where in Japan are you located now? I'm right now at Sapporo, Hokkaido, which is in the north, northernmost part of the Japan. Okay. And how long have you been there? It's been a month right over here. I've just been shifted in Sapporo. Okay. And uh, what brought you to Sapporo? Obviously, the food brought me over to Sapporo. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, what's your current job? What industry are you in? Right now, I'm at the uh, restaurant industry. Okay. So. And uh, what are some of your responsibilities? So there are many responsibilities over me. Being the manager of the restaurant, we have to look over different things. So the main reason right now I'm here is to maintain a shift of the co-workers and maintain a eco-friendly working place to all the staff who are working together right now with me. Okay, and uh, what would you say you like about your job? Yeah, I always like to work in the restaurant field. And uh, being in a restaurant field, it's a busy life. And uh, getting busy, uh, I feel very happy and engaged over here. It's uh, a very blessing for me. Okay. But I imagine it's not an easy job. So what are some of the challenges in the job? Yeah, there are many challenges uh, in this restaurant field. As we all know that uh, there's been a lot of conflict over the COVID. Hmm. So due to the shortage of the working staff, uh, there's very hard to maintain a balance shift. And uh, when there's shortage of the staff, as you know, that uh, uh, the restaurant field itself is a busy life. So it's very hard to maintain a shift. And uh, the co-workers, we to move all the people and uh, get drive them into the one, into the same decision is very hard. Okay. Mm. Okay, let's talk about your life before you came to Japan. Where were you based? Yeah, I was in Nepal, Kathmandu, mm. previously. Okay, and uh, for people who don't know Kathmandu, what are some major attractions in that place? Yeah, Kathmandu has been very rich in uh, ancient culture and mm. uh, historical monuments. So you can have a great view of the historical monuments in Kathmandu. Okay, and uh, what about education? Uh, how would you describe the education system there? I would like to describe that there's been a vast change in the education system. Mm -hmm. uh, there, there have been a lot of progress in the education system as the uh, infrastructure has been a lot of quite changes in mm -hmm. coming these years. So uh, recently I've been, been in Nepal, so I don't know, but hearing from the colleagues, there's been a lot of difference, uh, which I was in the past time and right now. Okay, so now let's get to know a little more about you. Before okay. you came to Japan, how would you describe your own life in in uh, Kathmandu? I was just a student over high school student in Kathmandu. Hmm. So uh, I, I just used to work as a tuition teacher when I was okay. in Kathmandu. And what made you decide to come to Japan? Yeah, we all know that uh, Japan is very far among all the other nation in the technology. So I think the technology has made me to push, which pushed me over here in Japan. Hmm. And the other thing is that um, I studied English in my own school. And okay. uh, so I was, I just wanted to learn other language. And I, I always started to converse with other people in other language. So hmm. I think uh, Japanese language would be the best medium for me to learn the other language. Hmm. So it was also another point which uh, drive me towards the Japan. Hmm. And how easy or difficult was the process? The process was a quite bit uh, difficult, hmm. uh, which I was not expecting. Hmm. Uh, but uh, fruitfully, it goes in a good way. Okay. Okay. And uh, when you first arrived in Japan, what was your impression of the people and the country? So uh, when I first entered in the Japan, mm. uh, firstly, the environment, which is very clear. And uh, 
the streets are very clean and the other thing is that technology it uh totally make me different so <laughs> when you look in japan and we went into comparison in japan and in your own country the mm -hmm. technology is vast the first okay. so i think technology was the main reason which mm. uh, made me looks like a war <laughs> <laughs> okay and uh, how did you learn the japanese language I learned Japanese language uh, in Japanese school, and mm -hmm. uh, after graduating from the Japanese uh, school, uh, mm -hmm. I moved on to the vocational school, and I mm -hmm. learned Japanese language over there too. Okay, so now let's talk about the business school. Uh, what uh, prompted your decision to attend this business or vocational school? So, I I I tell you once again that mm -hmm. um, I was very keen to learn about the culinary art mm -hmm. to be honest so um, i passed out from the uh, i just give the exam of the culinary college and mm -hmm. uh, i got selected in the culinary college but due to the financial effort i was not able to get there so mm -hmm. uh, the last option was the uh, tibc so it mm -hmm. led me to join over the tibc okay and uh, when you were at tibc what are some subjects you covered there I learned a different uh, subjects in TIBC, like mm -hmm. uh, business manner and uh, business statistic and accounting, uh, which has been fruitful right now till, till, till the date. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. Okay. So now let's uh, go back to Sapporo. Yeah. What do you do for fun? <laughs> yeah, I go for driving and mm -hmm. uh, go for outing with my co-workers uh, mm -hmm. when I'm free right now. Okay. And, uh, and uh, what are some places you would recommend for somebody visiting Hokkaido for the first time? I think that there's an Otaru beach, uh, which I've been once. So mm -hmm. you can get a clear view from the top of the tower. Mm -hmm. And I think the Suskina streets, uh, which has been just surreal for me right now. Oh, right? Wow. Surreal. Mm -hmm. And besides uh, Hokkaido, which other places in Japan have you visited? Yeah, I've been to Kyoto. Osaka mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, Yokohama and mm -hmm. Chiba and uh, but I would like to go to Okinawa too. Okay, and uh, which of these places would you recommend to others? Yeah, I would like to recommend uh, mostly. I haven't been to the Yamagata Ken. Uh, there's a Ginza on Onsen, so okay. I would like to probably be there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, uh, what advice would you give to someone from Nepal who wants to come and study or work in Japan? Uh, firstly, that uh, people came in Japan with a huge expectation. Not only them, their parents also have a huge expectation on you. So mm -hmm. I'd like all the colleagues to take it easy mm -hmm. and uh, do not expect a lot from anything mm -hmm. and do your hard work and uh, the wish will be granted, I think. Okay. And what advice would you give about uh, working with uh, Japanese people? So working with Japanese people in my prospection, that uh, whether you are working with a Japanese co-worker or whether you are working with a foreign co-workers. Mm -hmm. So there's uh, been a, so it's not your native country. So you are working with other staff, mm -hmm. or other nations, people. Mm -hmm. So it's very hard to maintain a healthy co-working relationship. Mm -hmm. But now, right now I'm trying to manage it. And uh, when you are very good at uh, human relationship, mm -hmm. I think it's better for you to work easy. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the one thing that uh, derives me from working with the Japanese people is that they give their hundred percent with uh, which work they are doing, and mm. they are working with a great passion. I mm. think mm. that's the one thing that uh, which drives me every day. Mm. 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 So looking at um, someone who came from Nepal and you have been fairly successful in Japan, what philosophy guides your day-to-day -day life? I want to tell that uh, just. Uh, Take it easy and uh, okay. give it a good shot mm. and try, try until you die. Mm. I think it's, it's my motto. It's my motto. Okay. And what's your dream? My dream is to be an entrepreneur. Mm. With a, I haven't been thinking a lot about it, but mm. I'm trying to learn a lot, lot of things at my early age right now. Mm. So uh, in future, I would like to start my own small restaurant. Mm. Or, I don't know which place we would would it be? But I just like to open a small restaurant and mm. uh, be as an entrepreneur. 
Okay. So those are all my questions. Is there anything else um, you have been wanting to say for a long time? <laughs> this will be an opportunity to say. <laughs> you? To anybody, yeah. To the world. <laughs> no, I've not uh, been... Yeah, I'm not thinking a lot about the other people right now. So uh, mm -hmm. getting a busy schedule right now. So it's very mm -hmm. hard to think about all the people. Right mm -hmm. now I'm thinking about myself. <laughs> okay, that's good too. Well, thank you so much for taking the time. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you for giving me such a platform to share my ideas and views over to other people. So okay. thank you very much. Okay, bye for now. Yeah, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.